Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create Windows Group authentication login in SQL Server. Uh, there are two ways to that uh, you can add Windows authentication authenticated user in SQL Server. One is individual user, which will exist in your Active Directory, and you went ahead and create a login for that particular user. And other option right here, which we're going to do in this uh, particular video, is Windows Group. Let's say that uh, there is an Active Directory group called SQL database reader so uh, your active directory admin has created that group and put a lot of uh, um, users in that particular group so in SQL server it recognized the group authentication so if you uh, add that group and create one login all the users in that particular group will be able to log into SQL server and read all the databases so what we're gonna do is uh, go ahead and use two ways to do that using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and other is using T-SQL script so here's my server this is my SQL Server and I'm connected with Management Studio right here in order to uh, this is my uh, Tech Brother client server and SQL Mirror is my instance so in order to create login you need to go to the security tab expand the security tab and here is login you need to right click on the login click new login and in order to use the Windows authentication you need to click on Windows authentication which is by default when you create a login so what we're gonna do is click on search and a couple options right here that um, uh, right now from the location location this is uh, the local server Tech Brothers client so since you're user or your group active directory uh, group actually exist in your um, domain uh, this is the local uh, server and if that particular group or user is not added to this particular server then it is going to give us issue that it cannot find that group so first option up here is select object type if we if we click on that you will see other objects built in security principles and this is again to the local server and up here uh, by default groups are not enabled and users are enabled but not the group so if we click OK and leave the group off and if we try click on location and go in entire active directory so if in my case I only have one domain controller right here techbrothers.local this is my domain and all the user exist in this domain but if you are in an organization where there are multiple domains and uh, uh, some user won't exist in one domain and they will exist in another domain you need to uh, select the right domain in order to da uh, add that user or the group so we're gonna go ahead and search for the entire directory and that will search in all the domains so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and since we haven't selected group up here as you can see we're gonna go ahead and basically try to uh, search for our group so I'm going to go ahead and my group is SQL DB reader so let me verify as you can see that this SQL uh, DB reader it did not find so this is the error you will get if you do not if you're trying to add a group but you haven't selected in your object type the group so we're gonna go ahead and close this go to the object type and select the groups okay and check the name now as you can see right away it accepted SQL DB reader yes there is a group in Active Directory it went ahead and verified that so we added the whole group and click OK rest everything is the same just like any other login so we're gonna go ahead and click on server role um, by default the public server role will be uh, given to that particular login so that's the default behavior unless your public is uh, disabled from your um, security point of view so right here uh, click on general again uh, as you can see when you create Windows authentication all this enforce policy enforce password expiration they are not highlighted for you they are grayed out the reason is because it is all right here the Windows authentication is managed via Active Directory administration so all the policies 
uh, it is on domain controller it is on your active directory so active directory uh, basically controls the security of these particular logins not the sql server if you create a sql server authentication if you click on here then all these uh, options highlights for you because this is the sql server uh, uh, controls the, uh, the these controls are from sql server so we're going to go ahead and leave uh, windows authentication so sql reader right here let me quickly show you that how the group looks like here's my domain controller and i'm going to look in my active directory and here's my active directory users and computers and right here is the users if we see SQL right here is the security group SQL DB reader if we double click on SQL DB reader and look at the members we have two users in this group one is George Bailey and other is Kevin Scott so once we add this SQL DB reader to our SQL server, George Bailey and Kevin Scott will have authentication authorization to go into SQL server and connect with the SQL server. So we don't need to add individually these users. All we need to do is just go ahead and add SQL ser server DB reader group uh, into our SQL server and both of those users or any users uh, for that matter that's in that group can be added um, and uh, they will be able to log into SQL Server so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and refresh our login and see if uh, SQL DB Reader is right here as you can see right here the icon these are individual users you can tell from uh, uh, these icon whether it's a group or it's a user and up here there are a couple guys one in yellow and other is in blue and then there is a, a up here a little uh, uh, icon of um, active directory domain so that means that this is a group multiple users can be in this group and can connect to sql server so i'm going to go ahead and delete this group and go ahead and use our uh, sql script to add um, Windows authentication group uh, basically in T-SQL it's the same just like adding individual users all you need to do is make sure that uh, that group exists because uh, in in this script there is no way that you can verify whether this exists on until you really execute this script so if you execute this script and this uh, user doesn't exist it's going to give you error so I'm going to go ahead and uh, execute this script as you can see command completed successfully we're gonna go back in our logins and see if that SQL DB reader right here that exists so basically this is how you add uh, Windows group authentication login to SQL server this way this is the best way this is recommended way to uh, do uh, that uh, you have to create groups on your active directory basically and then that way you don't have to uh, create individual logins because they there might be uh, you know uh, issues if you have a SQL Server reader group you can just add from Active Directory you don't have to do all that cleanup or delete or add users from SQL Server site so using Active Directory Windows authentication group authentication is the best way to go as far as SQL Server uh, authentication uh, concerns I hope this video helps